everyone, welcome back to QAC TV. I have very special guests with me today, and they're going to be talking to us about osteogenesis imperfecta, and it is a very rare disease that you might not know about, but after talking to this lovely family today, we're going to learn a lot. So here we have Sherry, Claire, and Claire's biggest helper in the world, Jeremiah. So thanks for coming on today, guys. Thank you for having us. Of yes. course, and people might recognize you all because you were just on TV. <laughs> You just got to talk to the county commissioners. Was that exciting? Yes. Yeah. Is there is there a secret in the county commissioners that you got in there? Do you know someone? Mm -hmm. Who do you know? I know Commissioner Robert Bucky. How do you know him? Because he's my grandpa grandfather. That's a that's a good person to know then. He's my dad. Yes. And he's your dad, yes. And your wonderful husband. My husband, yes. Well, I'm sorry for that. For 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> so and we're still going. Yeah, that's right. So I'm so glad you guys could join us. So let's talk about why you guys are here today. Okay. So that's Claire. going to be you, Claire. Thank you, QAC TV, for having me here today and recognizing National Osteogenesis Imperfecta Awareness Week from May 5th through May 12th, 2018. I also want to thank my Nana, Papa, and Mommy for always being there for me, and I know they will continue to. Osteogenesis imperfecta, also known as brittle bone disease, is a rare disorder that affects your bones. Not only does it affect your bones, it can affect your heart, lungs, muscles, tendons, hearing, and teeth. There are 30 to 50,000 people in the United States that have osteogenesis imperfecta. People with this disorder can have just a few breaks to hundreds of breaks in their lifetime. People with osteogenesis imperfecta can break their bones and get injured just from a mild trauma or no cause at all. Also, corrective surgery is needed sometimes or surgery to fix an injury. Because of osteogenesis imperfecta, I had to have surgery due to an injury and corrective surgery at the same time. I have not been able to walk or white bear on my foot for the last two months. I just started therapy to walk again. That is why I'm in a wheelchair. <clears throat> there is no cure for osteogenesis imperfecta. My mommy and I were born with and have osteogenesis imperfecta. We, have, we both have more casts than our ages, and we both have had surgeries due to osteogenesis imperfecta. We are facing, and we are facing more in the future. My mommy and I face bullying and discrimination every day. Therefore, it is so important to make awareness about osteogenesis imperfecta. So in closing, I am presenting you with a wristband that says Unbreakable Spirit. Over here. Well, this is for me? <gasps> I'm wearing this all the time. <laughs> this, is, this is the osteogenesis imperfecta model. We might have lots of injuries and breaks, but it will never break our spirit. So when you look at this wristband with the words Unbreakable Spirit, yes, it represents the osteogenesis imperfecta motto, but it is true in everyday life and for everybody. Never let anyone or anything break you, your spirit. Claire and Jesse. That was amazing. Good Claire, job. good job. Thank you so much for this. You know, blue is yeah. my favorite color. So I'm glad, yeah. I'm glad blue. Yeah, see, yeah. And you have yeah. the bear. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's the bear's name? Bucky Bear. How long have you came up with that name? Few days. Few days. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> TV magic, I'm going to let that slide. Yeah. So yeah. I think it's very important for people to know, you actually wrote that all by yourself, didn't you? Yeah. How long did it take you? I'm not sure. Not sure? About <laughs> as long as it took you to name that bear? Yes. Yes. <laughs> she kind of just kept jotting things down and finally came up with what she wanted to say. Right. And it was beautifully so. written. It's a very important message that you want to help raise awareness. I know people probably can't see right now that you actually have a cast on. Mm -hmm. So you are nine years old. And you said you've had more casts than your age. Do you know how many bones you've broken or how many casts you've needed? Um, definitely more than my age, track. but <laughs> yeah. I've had at least eight or nine casts plus a tear. Woo. Yeah. Is it, is it hard dealing with all that over and over again? And I guess you're in and out of doctors and hospitals. And and it's and almost like it's every week. I'm going into the hospital and it's like I'm living there. Yeah. That must be... Hard just as much as breaking the bones, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and sometimes and, it's even hard, too, is finding doctors who know how to treat it well. Okay, right. Um, because it is so rare, um, OI has to be treated very aggressively, and they have yes. to know how to treat that patient. Um, and finding doctors who know how to treat those patients is very hard. Right. Um, 
I, I heard you say, what, Claire, it's almost, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We're on TV. You're allowed to have fun. I heard you say that it's close to 50,000 people might yeah, suffer 30 from 30 to 50. 30, 30 to 50? 50. So that's perspective. That's more people almost that's in Queens County. So there's a good chance you might know someone that has it, even if they don't uh, say it to you. Um, I actually have a friend in school that knows about it. Mm -hmm. um, cause, but she doesn't have it. But she doesn't have it. I mean, someone in her family had it. Right. Um. But, but yeah, a lot of people, I'm guessing, don't. Yeah. yeah. And, and that's, that's how you ask why. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, yeah. Yeah, it's a, a, oh, that's, that's why yeah, it's that's so a, rare because yeah, it's, it's not that many numbers. Yeah, 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 it really is. And I'm guessing since not a lot of people know about it, a lot of people probably treat you differently about it, right? So what's that like? Um, sometimes it's upsetting, but I'm able to handle it because I'm not going to let them break my spirit. That's great. So is it... Is it bullying? Like they um, think you're faking, or yeah. What are some things that you hear? Um, I've heard that I've heard some people say that I like getting hurt, or I like getting all these casts, or I like getting all the attention, or like I like having surgery. That's terrible. Who would like all that? Who would like not being at home and having to go to the hospital? Mm -hmm. Not me. So we want to raise awareness so that people mm -hmm. stop. First off, no one should be bullying anyone for any reason. Mm -hmm. But we want to help raise awareness so people know that people aren't faking. Like People are going through very hard things and very traumatizing situations. So people are probably going to need some more information. Mm -hmm. And that's why we've brought on some help also. Mm -hmm. So we have lots of stuff going on. Like last week was actual awareness week. Yes. But this is an all year round thing. Yes, it is. So is there other places they can go to get information or are there <laughs> other events? Um, the OI Foundation mm -hmm. is a great resource for information. Um, there's a store they have, and every dime that you spend there goes to research on trying to find cures. Mm -hmm. um, that's where the bear came from. Right. Met Bucky Bear. Bucky Bear. Um, mm -hmm. There's also a conference in July in Baltimore this year that they'll be holding, and it's great for anybody to attend because it's so informative. Right. Um, there's a lot of events that go on. People hold um Blue jeans for Better Bones Day. Mm -hmm. And everybody pays a dollar to wear blue jeans um, and wear a bracelet. There's a Bone China Day you can do um, where you have tea and China, but all the donations go to the OI trying to help research and, and find also ways to cure this. There's a right. day where you have to wear all yellow, like your pants can be blue, but Which there's is a day. The wishbone day. Wishbone Day. Right. You'll wear yellow rep representing Wishbone Day. Great. Which is the first kickoff day of. Oh, oh, oh I wear this week. Right. So that's how the week oh. kicks off every year with Wishbone Day? Yes. Yeah. Okay. We're wishing Did you do for anything? better bones. Right. That, no, that's perfect. I Did you do anything special? Did, not really. Did you wear yellow? Yes. yes. Okay. I had a of blue course. shirt yeah. with a smiley face that was yellow. That's yes. cute. Okay, that's great. And the so, whole family wears blue. As you see, we all blue. That's great. That's QAC TV's colors. So you know we love that. Yes. Yeah. So going blue, that's great. And if people want information, they can go to OIF.org. Yes. And that's a great resource. Yes, and absolutely. They can read um, when things slow down a little bit, I'd love to do a Bone China Tea fundraiser or do a Blue Jeans for Better Bones Day. Right. Um, because it's so important because even just finding doctors is hard, mm -hmm. like I said. Um, getting information out to people. Right. Um, and if hopefully someday they will find a cure. Yeah. It would be wonderful. That would be wonderful. So let's just keep helping and keep supporting. Keep crossing our fingers. Right. So we can help raise awareness, help raise money, <laughs> help raise a, a better chance of a cure. Mm -hmm. So that that is that is a OI, but you're on TV today. And I told you I think we should have a little bit of fun because you're on TV. Mm -hmm. So I was going to ask you a couple random questions. Is that okay? Yeah. Are you going to help out, Jeremiah? Can I ask you random questions too? It's going to be really easy. Like, all right, Claire, what is your favorite cookie? Favorite cookie, sugar and chocolate chip and peanut butter. <laughs> like Those mixed cookies. together? <laughs> like you put all that in one cookie? Yes. That's a super cookie. Uh -huh. Okay, speaking of super, Jeremiah, do you have a favorite superhero? I Flash and Arrow. Yeah. Flash and Arrow. Yes. What if you can only pick one? Combine the two. Oh, yeah, yeah, Flash Arrow. <laughs> there you go. 
That is also my daughter's favorite. So that must be a very popular thing. Flash. Do you like Flash also? Um, I go for all three actually. Flash, Arrow, and Supergirl. So you're watching the TV shows. Yes, I, mm, I, okay. I do all three too. You do yeah. all three too? All, the family, ba they love. we love all Flash, Arrow, and Supergirl. So it's a family thing? Yes. yes. You all sit yeah. down and watch them? Every Absolutely. Time. That's exciting. That's we eat so dinner cool. as a family. We sit down as a family. Um, um, last because night was what better actually, support do you have than your family? That's amazing. Last night was that. actually family movie night, and we watched a really funny movie. What movie? Game night. Game night? I haven't seen that. It's hilarious. Hilarious. I, so I have to check it out? Uh-huh. Okay, so I'm going to go watch it. Then maybe you can come back and interview me about how I like the movie. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> she so, Speaking of movie, <laughs> what's your would. favorite movie ever, um, I actually all time? have quite a few, but one of my favorites is Descendants and Descendants 2. The Descendants. That is where they're the kids of the, the kids popular, of uh, popular of the old popular fairy tale. Yes. Yeah, like Maleficent, Jafar, Evil Queen, and mm -hmm. Cruella Deville. Now, are they evil too? Are yes. the Descendants evil? They actually, in the movie, they got locked away on the Isle of the Lost, but their children got to be sent to Ordon Prep. Man, that sounds like I have a lot of movies to watch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How about you, Jeremiah? Favorite movie? Uh. I normally have 10 movies. He has 10. 10. You have a top 10? Yes. You should start your own YouTube channel. You can just talk about movies. Yeah. Hey, yep. <laughs> Do you know what my favorite one is? The Princess Bride. Have the you Princess ever seen Bride? that? No. That's a good movie. You have to go watch that now. Yes. Okay. And we'll watch movies and we'll come back and we'll talk. It's a good movie. Well, all we like is one now. So okay, all which right, one? So which one is your favorite? Despicable Me what? One, two, or three? Three. 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 It's brat. really funny. That's the one where they go after the woman, right? Brat. Evil Brat. Evil Brat. Oh, I'm thinking of the Minions movie, aren't I? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll get caught up one day. Then we're going to have so many discussions. Does that <laughs> sound good? Yes. <laughs> so let's look into our middle camera right here. Can we just say thank you for everyone for thank watching? You. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. For yes. And if you can now go online, go check out OIF.org. You can go to their website, learn more if you want some more information or find out how you can get involved. Thank you for watching.